Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking another look at our Arma Creighton uh, monster truck, uh, eighth scale. This is definitely a big brawny machine here, uh, but uh, it does have a couple of weak spots. So one issue that I've had repeatedly is with the the shock shafts. So and and ends. So you can see on this. Um, on this front shock here, it's actually bent out this way. Uh, you can see that the shock shaft is not in the center of the spring. Uh, definitely some issues there. Um, the anti-roll bar and link actually popped out as well. Um, so we have some work to do on this truck and also the more obvious one is that um, the eyelet on the shock shaft of this rear shaft has broken as well and uh, this this is a known weak point I've, I've had issues with this uh, I, I don't run this truck uh, super hard like some of the other guys that you see on YouTube but um, have had my fair share of issues I, I, I tried looking for beefier shock shafts because um, these are actually believe it or not two and a half millimeters in diameter and it's being covered by the boot here but um, that's pretty thin for uh, a, a truck of this size and weight, um, usually for 8th scale stuff, truggies, monster trucks, uh, you will see about 3 millimeters as, as a standard. So I was, I was seeing if I could upgrade to a, a beefier, or stronger shock shaft because uh, I bent one on the rear of this uh, previously and also broke the rod end. Uh, but uh, I, I haven't been able to find one because 2.5 millimeters in diameter is a bit of an odd uh, odd diameter. It's it's smaller than standard. So not sure why they chose to do that, but um, I'll probably take a, take another look, uh, search the forums and whatnot, and see what people have done in terms of uh, in terms of upgrades on these shock shafts. Uh, sometimes you can actually bore out the or you know use larger seals here uh, where the shock shaft goes into the sh to the shock itself. Uh, so I, I will take a look at all those options, but uh, for now, our Arma Creighton will be back uh, back on the stand, so to speak, until we get uh, replacement parts in stock um, to go ahead and fix this up. So thanks again for watching us. Again, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. Thanks again for watching.